What's up guys, Cloud here. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the best basic tees. Now I made one of these videos probably a year ago now and in that video, I went more about t-shirts that are in the, like the three to six dollar range. And this video, I'm gonna be talking about t-shirts that range from about $11 to $17. Now personally, all three t-shirts that I have right here, I do like. And the criteria that I usually like to go with when it comes to t-shirts is that it has to be heavy. I like heavyweight t-shirts, like all midweight t-shirts similar to the Supreme ones. I don't like anything lighter than that. Maybe a little bit lighter, but I don't like those thin t-shirts, like the ones that are popular from American Apparel. I don't really like those. And a lot of like luxury tees, expensive ones, do have like a thin material and I don't really like that. I like them to fit a little bit loose not too tight and i like my t-shirts to have like a bit of a true to size to loose feel to them i don't like them to have that really form-fitting look that's not personally the look i like to go for and lastly i want to talk about that i don't really care about how soft the tee is that's not really a thing i look out for i look more for like the thickness of it and the durability feel of it so let's get into it so the very first tee i'm going to get into is actually the cheapest one of the three t-shirts today and it is the dickies heavyweight t-shirt now the first thing that i want to note about this t-shirt is that it has a pocket it is a pocket tee and it obviously has a little dickies patch right there as you guys can see so that can be a pro or a con depending on like if you like the logo or not and if you don't want the logo at all for the fit of this Dickies t-shirt, I would say it is slightly big. A little bit bigger than your true to size t-shirts, I feel like, but that is fine. I think that is not too big and that looks good. I'm around like 170 pounds and I'm 5'11". And that gives you an idea of like, how does it fit on me? You guys can see. And a little note I want to add about the pocket of the t-shirt is that it is a two section pocket. There's a main one right here and then there's a tiny one right here. You can stick like a pen into it or something or a pencil right here. There's like a tiny thin little strip extra pocket quality of it feels nice it is obviously heavyweight but i would say out of the three t-shirts this one feels the cheapest and it is the cheapest so maybe that's why it does not feel like as durable as the other ones but i do like it because like one thing i like to look out for for t-shirts and it's one of the reasons i don't really like the t-shirt supreme print on is that when it comes to like the neck right here i really don't like it when brands like this little flap right here when it like kind of move around because when you wash it this thing can like curl up and it just really fucks with the fit of the neck you, you know you want a nice like tapered neck like this one is like also has that little loose one so it kind of like, crinkles up if you wash it with hot water or dry it so that kind of sucks so these ones make it so that the t-shirts are a little bit more durable in the neck area but obviously you want to like take care of your t-shirts wash them in cold water and then dry them for like five minutes and then hang dry them that's the best method to wash your t-shirts if you don't want them to get too beat up but overall i would say this is a pretty good quality t-shirt for 10 bucks it costs around 10 to 12 bucks so you can't really complain too much the quality of it is better than like the really cheap t-shirts only downside is that obviously it has the logo right there so you guys might not like it and also a pocket t-shirt so that could be a pro or a con. The next t-shirt I'm gonna get into is the Carhartt, I think this K87 t-shirt. The biggest pro of Carhartt is that it is really, really durable. Carhartt handle is getting washed pretty well. It doesn't really like shrink too badly. And if it does shrink, they come in really, really big sizes. Carhartt is definitely oversized so that even if you wash it and it shrinks, it will still probably fit you because it is really that big. Again, this is also a pocket t-shirt with a logo, but I do feel like the Carhartt logo is a little bit cooler than the Dickies logo. As you guys can see right there, that is the Carhartt logo on the pocket. And recently, Carhartt has become like low-key trendy. Well, not recently, it's been like a while now and Carhartt is low-key trendy. So this design right there is not really that big of a negative. Retail for these will run you $17. Sometimes you'll catch them for a little bit cheaper, which is nice when they are a little bit on sale on Amazon or something. This is actually the only t-shirt I owned before and from my personal experience, the neck handles really, really well in the wash. It does not crinkle up too badly, which is super, super nice. That is so nice when it comes to t-shirt. You guys don't understand if you guys don't buy a lot of t-shirts. Like some shirts do really well in the wash. The neck area is like, the thing you really want to look out for, the collar of it. If it shrinks, then it's bad. But this one handles the wash really well. It is probably the most durable. The only complaint about it is it is really big. So sizing might be a bit confusing. Like you guys should definitely order it with like Amazon Prime or something like that. So you have the option to return it because it does fit big. So maybe you could size down or something. But if you guys want a good roomy fit, then these are really, really good for that like oversized look. Highly recommend these t-shirts. The final t-shirt I'm gonna get into is the Uniqlo U basic t-shirt. Now Uniqlo makes like a bunch of different basic t-shirts are highly regarded 
for their quality. Personally, I went with the Uniqlo U, I don't know, basic t-shirt, whatever it's called, because I personally like a heavyweight t-shirt and I saw people say that this is their heavyweight option, so that's why I went with it. And I am super duper pleased with this. Now, the first thing I really like about it is that it doesn't have any logos. It's a basic t-shirt, no pockets, so that makes it more easy to wear than compared to a pocket t-shirt. Now, one thing that is like crazy about this t-shirt is that the collar of it, the neck area, is like this super heavyweight material. And I just feel like this material right here that they use, well, it's like the t-shirt, but I feel like it's the same fabric from the t-shirt, but it's like double, like, you know, they put, like, they wrapped it, so it's two of them. And I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels really, really like, nice and thick and really heavy so I feel like this will handle the wash very well. I haven't washed it yet so I don't really know. And because they are like a fashion brand compared to the other ones like working man's brand, workwear brands designed for like if you want to like wear them to work and stuff, these do have a little bit more unique colorways like I'm not sure how it will come across on camera but this blue one that I got, it's like blue but also has like a little bit of red hits in it and it makes it like this really unique colorway, that's why I personally copped it. I definitely want to cop more of these ones. This is actually my favorite out of the three right now because no logo, crazy quality in the neck, and it's the same heavyweight material. This one does run the smallest out of the three. This one runs like true to size to slightly big. It's not like a tight shirt at all, not a small shirt. And I feel like this fits really awesome. I really, really like it. And yeah, this is, this is my favorite shirt out of the three. So you guys are looking to cop like some basic tees, I recommend this one the most. The quality of it is crazy. So that's all for my opinions on basic t-shirts. Leave in the comments down below what are your go-to basic t-shirts. I'm pretty sure everyone has a few that they'd like to go to. Subscribe to the channel for more streetwear and fashion videos every Tuesday and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Don't fall asleep yet. I'm wide awake still. I wonder if you think about me when you lay still. Don't fall asleep yet. Promise so if you guys didn't know, I'm doing a new thing at the end of every single video that I make. You guys can submit questions for me to answer or like just random messages you guys want to say to me or say to the audience. And I'll also give you a shout out if you personally want one for like your YouTube channel or Instagram. But I only got one question this week and the person did not want a shout out. But he or she wants to know what company do you want to see Supreme work with on a collab and which collab would you be most excited about? Now this question is really really fucking hard to answer because a lot of Supreme already collab with a lot of different companies and then also I don't want to give an answer for like a company that Supreme won't really collab with you know just there's a lot of companies that they just won't collab with and it's very obvious like Adidas or Palace or like different competitors like that you know I, you just can't really see them collabing with those kind of brands. So the two that I really want to see them collab with is Carhartt is one of them. They did like a Carhartt inspired design I think a while back. I don't think that is an official collab. If I'm correct, I really don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. I definitely would like to see them print on some like Carhartt t-shirts or some Carhartt hoodies. I think it'd be a really cool look. Just a really basic collab, you know, nothing too crazy. Just some logo on logo action and just like something to mix things up a little bit. I think it'd be really cool. Another collab that I would like to see for accessories is a Hydro Flask because I feel like that's like a, almost a meme right now. It's like a little coat. If you guys didn't know, Hydro Flask is a brand of water bottles that are like kind of expensive. So in a way they're like the Supreme or like the Apple for water bottles. So I think that'd be a really interesting collab to go with. Man, that's actually a really tough question to answer. Leave in the comments down below what collabs would you like to see from Supreme. Possibly the collabs I would be the most excited about would be like collabs from those offshoots of Supreme, like people from Supreme going to do their own brands. So like brands like Noah, I believe Bianca Shandone or however you say that is also associated with somebody that was with Supreme. And I know there's like a few more, but I really can't think of them right now. Oh, Awake and Why, I almost forgot about that. This is also made by somebody that has connections with Supreme. So I think these would be really interested to see Supreme collab with them just because of the different connections they have. Yeah, that's all, I only had one question this week, so peace out.